During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people, winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the imperial court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. We have driven off the Yellow Turban army that was headed this way. That should keep them at bay for the time being. Ah, you did it! I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. You definitely stand out from the rest of this crowd. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. Thank you again for your cooperation. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. If only the rest of our army was as capable as you, I would not have had to trouble you so. I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province. I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for himself. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion and restoring peace to the land. Huh. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I have a feeling this battle will not be resolved so easily. You're right about that. I'm beginning to suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should probably watch our backs out there on the battlefield. Now then, let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. My lord! You there. The Imperial Army is just a ragtag bunch. Are you also with the assembled Imperial forces? We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The Yellow Turbans themselves began as suffering peasants. I would like to bring salvation to them also, but unfortunately that seems impossible. I see. You are not here for personal gain, but out of concern for the people. I admire your resolve, but it will not be easy. It takes time to try and save everyone. In that time, though, the chaos spreads, causing even more to suffer. Our only choice is to do whatever it takes to end this rebellion as quickly as possible. It may seem heartless, but in the end, it will save even more lives. Why do the Imperial Hey! Get on in here!
Come again! The Imperial Army is recruiting volunteers. Can cut through anything. Please take this. The time of the Han has ended. Long live the Yellow Turbans. Hmm. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the Yellow Turbans keep saying. There are many who are dissatisfied with the corruption that runs rampant in the government, even if they are not part of this uprising. Even if we slay Zhang Xiao and quell this rebellion, another is likely to rise up in its place. I cannot help but feel their sentiment about the Han is correct. 
Well, we can't simply let things continue on as they are. The longer this rebellion goes on, the more people will be drawn to its cause. Not only that, but a land under the yellow turbans just doesn't sound all that appealing to me. Hmm. You are both right. No matter how righteous one's cause is, they are simply mere bandits if they approach it without discipline. For now, we need to eliminate Zhang Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then, we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. We move! Excuse me!
truly are the one that will conquer this land. I hereby claim this area as my own.
Ah! Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
I hereby claim this area as my own! I've got some great stuff here! I appreciate your business. What's this? An enemy raid? Keep calm! Everyone! Ah, yeah. Master Cao Cao is here with reinforcements. This should enable us to break through the enemy lines. Hey. Position. Our target has been decided. All units forward!
Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Welcome, do please come again! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Thank you very much. I will not stop until I slay the Yellow Turban leader, Zhang Zhao. There is no room in this land for those who operate outside the law. Sir, this is a miracle bestowed upon me by the heavens! Ah! Wh what just happened? Soldiers just appeared out of nowhere! Such a simple feat. <laughs> Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
The yellow turbans are in the city? Oh, someone save us! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! Get back! This altar? It has nothing at all to do with those soldiers! Honest! Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! Your skill. You're definitely special. So, capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! So, That's the end of our fun then. I hope the altar in Yuck is still intact. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Can't do any more like this. Retreat! Thank you! We 
We've not been forsaken after all. So, see. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. <laughs>